Yeah, uh, oh, all right, but listen. What good, listen. What good is a new launch sequence if you don't have a story to go with it? What good is that? How can that do, no, it's nothing. No, listen, before George Lucas went insane, he said a special effect is just a vehicle for telling us. That's all it is. Okay, so. Plus, it's your move. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye, yo. Hey, how's it going? I know, it's been a, well, it's been a while, but, you know, uh, I had stuff to do. I was busy. Plus, the world got really, really weird, didn't it? Um, here's my, here's my premise. 24-hour paint-by-monster art camp, all right? And in 24 hours, you yourself will be a monster artist. What the, what does that even mean, a monster artist? Here's what it means. A monster artist isn't just good at one thing. A monster artist is good at all kinds of things. Multidiscipline expertise. A monster artist. This can be you in 24 hours. Why? Well, because you'll learn about even what stuff's called and where to go look for stuff. Because there's a lot of related... Cre- anyway, shut up. Let's, uh... I don't know. 24-hour paint by monster camp. Run the opener. Oh, yeah, everybody's still here. Commander Penny back, back, and back there. But plus, plus adventures of, I don't know, some kind, because this is going to have to be a story, or this is not just, it's not going to work, right? If it's not a story, it's just not going to work. Uh, one hour of Paint by Monster starts now. You're watching Paint by Monster on YouTube. Good morning, everybody. MacVac, give everybody a photon list. Let them catch what they're going to need for this episode. And then give us a fat beat and get us out of here. Did you remember to engage the hologram? Oh. oh, I don't want another phone call from the mayor. I listen. No, no. Listen. Blink, blink twice if you understand this.
nugget there. Shut up. Just don't listen, robot. <sighs> we'll get there when we get there. All right. Just don't listen. Calm down. <laughs> you know, that's one of my pet peeves, right? Oh, God. When somebody says, oh, calm down, Easel Monster. Oh, are you kidding? Don't tell me to calm down. I'm always calm. Do you think I am not under really, really tight restraint? Self-control, boys and girls. Self-control. If you can burp right after saying that, oh, man, you are like on a pedestal. So what is art? Hmm? Art is something someone makes to go into one of the seven holes in your head. <laughs> There are seven holes in your head. There are seven holes in your head. Two eyes, two nostrils, two ears, and a mouth. There are seven holes in your head. The seven holes in your head let things go in and out. The seven holes in your head let things go in and out. Light, air, sound, peanut butter, and cheese. The seven holes in your head let things go in and out. Cause there are seven holes in your head. There are seven holes in your head. Two eyes, two nostrils, two ears, and a mouth. There are seven holes in your head. Your eyes are two holes that let light get inside. Your two nostrils let in air and take smells to your mind. Your ears are two holes that let in this song. And your mouth can eat later, but for now sing along. That there are seven holes in your head. There are seven holes in your head. Two eyes, two nostrils, two ears, and a mouth. There are seven holes in your head. I'm going to need to take a break and get some more coffee here just shortly, but... Matter of fact, give me a projection of the A section of the dictionary where we can find the word art. Arsphenamine, a... Light yellow toxic hydroscopic powder. That's not it. Oh, here it. All right, art. Uh, I flipped that around back back so everybody can see it. Would you? All right, now crop out everything that isn't art and make the art part big on the screen. Okay. Clean water is one of humanity's most fundamental needs, and those of us who live in urban areas usually get our water from some kind of centralized public system. Operating a water system is a major responsibility that has implications for public health and safety. In dense urban areas, a clean and abundant supply of water is an absolute necessity, not just for drinking, but also for sanitation and firefighting. And it's not just something we need every so often. Water is a constant necessity, both day and night, on weekends, holidays, and any time in between. So the job of finding enough water, making it safe to use, and then reliably distributing it to the system customers with almost no downtime is a monumental task that requires a lot of infrastructure. And probably the most visible component of a public water system is the elevated storage tank, also known as a water tower. Hey. 
underpants. Favorite underpants. Favorite underpants. The underpants that are my favorite. Favorite underpants. Favorite underpants. And only I know I have them on. Hey. Well, I'll be back real soon with another video, but in the meantime, you know what to go do with yourself, right? Favorite Alfred. underpants. The underpants that are my favorite. Favorite underpants. Favorite You're underpants. You're watching Bucky the Texas Cable Station. It's a TV Channel 60. Also, it's Channel 99 or an AT&T U-verse drop down menu, but Channel 60. Favorite underpants. Favorite underpants. The underpants that are my favorites. Favorite underpants. Favorite underpants. Let's go through our pre-launch checklist, boys and girls. Mr. Penny, please take your station. Thank you. All right, Mac back nice and slow, please. Release the docking claims. Yippee dog service. Do you need a yippee dog? Dogs for the weekend. Do you need a yippee and dog? A zippy dog. A dog that three. constantly barks at anything, including the air and random ghosts walking by. Do you need a dog that smells fear and it's everywhere? Yippee Dog Service, now available at Dart Mart on the way out on the left. Dart Mart, bullseye pricing every day. Dart Mart. Do you need a Yippee Dog? Do you need a Yippee Dog? Do you need a Yippee Dog? Dogs for the weekend. A Yippee Dog, a Zippy Dog. A dog that constantly barks at anything, including the air and random ghosts. Do you believe that dogs smell fear and these dogs believe it's everywhere? Do you need a Yippee Dog? Yippee Dog service. Now available at Dart Mart. Dart Mart, bullseye pricing every day. Dart Mart. Do you need a Yippee Dog? Try Yippee Dog service. Now available at Dart Mart. Do you need a Yippee Dog for the weekend? For a job interview? A Yippee Dog could be just a ticket. A Yippee Dog? A Zippy Dog. A dog that constantly barks at anything and everything, including the air and ghost shapes that walk by. Do you need a dog that smells fear in the air and it's everywhere? Do you need a Yippee Dog? Try Yippee Dog service. Now available at Dart Mart. Dart Mart. Bullseye pricing every day. Dart Mart. Werewolf pizza. Werewolf pizza. Oh, that's a good pizza. Go wild. Eat something hairy. Werewolf pizza. Oh, that's a good pizza. Arr. How? How do you go about developing somebody's imagination? I mean, how do you how do you do that? And first of all, what what even is your I'm going to say this, structurally, I believe that your imagination is the space inside of your heart where you tell yourself your plans, where you consider what might be. And it's a space inside of your heart, structurally, and I don't mean the organ your heart, I mean the metaphoric heart, the, the Hebrew idea of the word heart, Lamed Bet, the leader of the house, the, the thing that guides what you do. And you know, if, if the metaphor is is uh, you structurally as house, all right, that's your your imagination lives inside of this.
one of the other dangers in being an artist is uh, it's a solitary life, really. Uh, you're inside of your own thoughts an awful lot. I mean, you can make with others, but uh, there's a certain solitude that comes with making. And it's possible to like the solitude enough that you sort of, in a way, you sort of can cave in on yourself. Um, but I still think it's important to share your art with others at some point in the process. But I don't think that's necessarily the first part of the process. I don't think so. But, you know... I'm a monster, so... I have my own ideas about it. But I think enjoying making stuff, enjoying the process, that what whatever the process of the art that you enjoy making, whatever that is, I think that's... That's likely to be the, the best direction for you to spend your energies and time right now, anyway. Uh, but I also think as you, as you make for decades and decades and decades, that you grow in those sorts of things, that you, you make more, and you make with different things and different tools, and uh, all of the tools sort of collapse in on themselves, so there's some sense in which collapsing is a, a coalescing into skill sets that you never dreamed you'd have, which is really fun. And But at some point, like I said, the art has to become something that you share with somebody else, that you desire to say, well, here I made this. Look at this, everybody. I made this thing over here. Here's this thing right here. But that's, there's a lot of that going on. I mean, social media really is built to say, hey, I made this. I mean, isn't this the wonder of the internet is that you can say to the entirety of the world, hey, I made this, so here is this that I made, so you can take a look at this, <laughs> and you can like it or not like it, but, uh, you know, the work is separate from you yourself. You yourself are bigger than the work always. The work represents the moments that it took for you to paint it together or to cut it together. You need a yippee you, dog? Try you yippee know, dog service. Now down. available at Dart Mart. Do you need really a yippee dog for the weekend? People, for a job really, interview? Like a yippee dog could be just a ticket. A yippee dog? A zippy dog. Well, a dog that sure constantly barks at anything and everything, anything, including the air and ghost shapes that walk by. Do you need a dog that smells fear in the air and it's everywhere? Do you need a yippee dog? Try yippee dog service. Now available at Dart Mart. Dart Mart. Bullseye pricing every day. Dart Mart. Uh, you know, one of my things, I love ketchup. I have loved ketchup for it, but I love all of the sauces. I just, I, I adore UFO all gift cards, of three for a dollar. UFOs, uh, say thank you or I love you with a UFO. Tell someone you love them. Plus, hey, there's some weird stuff going on. UFO gift cards, three for a dollar. Now at Dart Mart. Dart Mart, bullseye pricing every day. Even Commander Penny, when I start making food, Penny, Commander Penny will start walking in ask what I'm eating. The moment I start introducing sauces or raspberries into what I'm eating, which, you know, a chef, that's another form of an artist. It's just an artist. It's an artist with food. Yes, they're thinking about it going into your two eye holes, your two nose holes. If it sizzles, your two ear holes and your mouth hole. So a chef is an artist that, that Make something that goes into all seven of the holes in your head. How about that? Um, you know, you've never really heard of anybody eating a painting. I suppose, I suppose that you could paint something in sauces, but, you know, without a protein or anything, it's all right, all right. You could lay meat and mashed potatoes out to look like something, I suppose. Maybe the state seal of Indiana. Maybe, maybe the, the beef could be the part of the, the bull that's running away. Maybe... Maybe that could be part of work. How do you develop somebody's sense of imagination? I don't know. It's a playground. I don't know. It's a playground inside of your own self. You just you bring the, the toys of ideas into your conscious thought stream and you start juggling them together and see what happens. When you're a monster artist and you learn to do these tools and you learn and you learn how to draw and you learn how to paint and you learn how to do some other things. Maybe you don't learn to do it really well, but you can do it and you ex can express yourself in this way and you can write you can, and, you can, and you can edit and you can rewrite and you can redraw and you can erase and you can redo and do over and 
all of the things that are in the well the the 100 art tips for for monster artists by easel monster available on my website where you can go buy merchandise of everything that you're seeing on the show because you know i also believe at some point people would like to well for one it's a way to say thank you for making this it's another thing to also feel like you know wow Hanging out with you really was something. I, I I would like to own this or that because I believe it would add to my days. I need to make stuff that will add to what, well, not just your refrigerator, but also your, you know, little notebooks and little little mementos of the show because, well, you're here. You've spent your time watching the show, so thanks. Charles Schultz may have inked with a pen dip, but I've always liked to use a Winsor Newton Sable Synthetic 202 watercolor brush, like this here. It makes the line you just saw me make, and uh, well, they're pretty cheap, maybe six, seven dollars. Anyway, the inking's done, let's do some watercolor. In order to correctly define art, it is necessary, first of all, to cease to consider it as a means to pleasure and to consider it as one of the conditions of human life. Viewing it in this way, we cannot fail to observe that art is one of the means of intercourse between man and man. Every work of art causes the receiver to enter into a certain kind of relationship both with him who produced or is producing the art, and with all those who simultaneously, previously, or subsequently received the same artistic impression. Speech, transmitting the thoughts and experiences of men, serves as a means of union among them, and art acts in a similar manner. The peculiarity of this latter means of intercourse, distinguishing it from intercourse by means of words, consists in this, that whereas by words a man transmits his thoughts to another man, by means of art, he transmits his feelings. The activity of art is based on the fact that a man, receiving through his sense of hearing or sight another man's expression of feeling, is capable of experiencing the emotion which moved the man who expressed it. To take the simplest example, one man laughs and another who hears becomes merry, or a man weeps and another who hears feels sorrow. A man is excited or irritated, and another man seeing him comes to a similar state of mind. By his movements or by the sounds of his voice, a man expresses courage and determination or sadness and calmness, and this state of mind passes on to others. A man suffers, expressing his suffering by groans and spasms, and this suffering transmits itself to other people. A man expresses his feelings of admiration, devotion, fear, respect, or love to certain objects, persons, or phenomenon, and others are infected by the same feelings of admiration, devotion, fear, respect, or love to the same objects, persons, and phenomenon. 
And it is upon this capacity of man to perceive another man's expressions of feeling and experience those feelings himself that the activity of art is made. If a man infects another or others directly, immediately, by his appearance or by the sounds he gives to vent at the very time he experiences the feeling, Jungle Strength Fungal Nut Cream. When your nuts are fungal, rub on the jungle. Available at Hooks Drugs, Hague Drugs, Osco Drugs, Drug Mart, Fresh Mart, Walmart, Kresge's, at CVS and Walgreens, and at all fine pharmacies and apothecaries. Don't sweat it, man. Get Jungle Strength Fungal Nut Cream. Um, here's some merchandising. Um, but it's, well, it's all thoughtful, I hope. I hope it's all thoughtful. I don't know. There's going to have to be, listen, there's going to have to be some t-shirts with pictures of Zippy the smoking chimpanzee that just don't have anything to do with Paint by Monster because I love a smoking monkey. I have always, always adored the image of a smoking monkey. I don't know. <laughs> he goes back to childhood, I suppose, and watching the, you know, it's one of the available toys. You get the smoking monkey. Um, and you know, there's a whole history of tobacco and tobacco leaves in art and all of that kind of stuff in the American Indians. And, but we don't have to talk about that necessarily right now. But smoking monkeys, man, when they give in chimpanzees cigarettes because it, it, they like them. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Probably this is not something that Jane Goodall... <laughs> this does not get the Jane Goodall seal of approval. Does the Zippy the Chimp have the Jane Goodall seal of approval? <laughs> Maybe Jane Goodall smoked. Maybe that, I don't know. I don't know. Was Jane Goodall a smoker? Uh, um, MacVac. Find out on the internet if Jane Goodall smoked cigarettes or not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. If a man infects another, or others directly, immediately, by his appearance or by the sounds he gives to vent at the very time he experiences the feeling, if he causes another man to yawn when he himself cannot help yawning, or to laugh or cry when he himself is obliged to laugh or cry, or to suffer when he himself is suffering, that does not amount to art. Art begins when one person with the object of joining another or others to himself in one and the same feeling, expresses that feeling by certain external indications. To take the simplest example, a boy having experienced, let us say, fear on encountering a wolf, relates that encounter and, in order to evoke in others the feeling he has experienced, describes himself, his condition before the encounter, the surroundings, the woods, his own lightheartedness, and then the wolf's appearance its movements, the distance between himself and the wolf, etc. All this, if only the boy, when telling the story, again experiences the feelings he had lived through and infects the hearers and compels them to feel what the narrator had experienced, is art. If even the boy had not seen a wolf, but had frequently been afraid of one, and if, wishing to evoke in others the fear he had felt, he invented an encounter with a wolf and recounted it so as to make his hearers share the feelings he experienced when he feared a wolf, that also would be art. And in just the same way, it is art if a man, having experienced either the fear of suffering or the attraction of enjoyment, whether in reality or in imagination, expresses these feelings on canvas or in marble so that others are infected by them. It is also art if a man feels or imagines to himself feelings of delight, gladness, sorrow, despair, courage, or despondency, and the transition from one to another of these feelings and expresses these feelings by sounds so that the hearers are infected by them and experience them as if they were experienced by the composer. And that's what Leo Tolstoy said in his essay, What is Art? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, is that so? Oh, you really think that, huh? Oh, yeah? Well, just come over here and come at me then, and we'll see what happens. No, I'm serious. You get your big furry butt over here, and I will teach you a thing or two. Look, anytime you think you're monster enough, you just come down here and we'll... What's that? You gotta go. Well, listen, say hi to Dad for me, and I'll talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, I love you too, Mom. Bye. 
<laughs> well, 